So, new destination, new trick here in Tatajuba, Brazil. Yeah, so this was the first um, the first slice of life camp and we did it out here in, in Tatajuba in Brazil and I've never been this far north in Brazil so it's quite cool to, to see up here. It's empty lagoon with wind every day. We, I mean, the wind has been the least of our problems on this trip, that's for sure. So we've been working on a, a little video series, new location, new trick with uh, participants of the uh, slice of life camp. And this trip, we did the back roll with Nick. That's Nick. Oh, the back roll. Oh, the back roll. So there's a lot you can do wrong whilst you're going for a back roll. What are you going to try today? Back roll. Back roll. Today's the day. Right. The back roll. So there's a lot you can do wrong whilst going for a back roll. Some of these include pulling the bar too hard backwards or forwards and adjusting the kite too much during the trick. Getting your pop wrong or your heel pressure wrong on takeoff. Not using your body correctly to generate the rotation to get enough speed in the rotation. Not having the right ball control behind the landing and the right kite steering to get enough speed to land correctly. So, to learn the back roll, step one, the takeoff. The takeoff is one of the most important parts of any trick, revolving around a combination of kite control, heel pressure and rotation awareness. Your body position during the trick, <clears throat> following your head and shoulders around the rotation and making sure the rotation is stable and you know that you're rotating around your hook. Your bar control, where to put your hands during the trick, make sure that they're in the middle of the bar and make sure that you're correcting the kite forwards after takeoff. Your landing and board control, always land with your board a little bit downwind so that you can control the speed and you don't overload your rail. Once you've mastered the landing of the basic back roll, these are things that you can work on as well as adding grabs and generally improving your consistency. At the start of this week, a lot of the guys were aiming to confidently ride up wind and be more relaxed on the water and by the end of this week, Pretty much everybody is either jumping or going for back rolls. If you've got a coach showing you what to do, it's little incremental improvements, I think. Because otherwise, I think I would have got stuck doing the wrong thing time and time again. And so that frustration point that I reached with you on the second day or third day or what have you, I probably wouldn't have got over that uh, speed bump, I don't think. But I was pretty skillless coming here, and I still am, but I think I could probably go back to Tarifa with a, uh, a back roll in my back pocket. Pretty good. Good? Yeah. Get, get the back roll? Got the back roll. Sweet. Got it dialed now. Ha, ha, ha.